Hi, I'm Alia. So first, let me just apologize for not making a video for, I think, must have been over a year, I'm not sure, but it has been a long time. But in that time, um, I finished my master's degree, so I moved to Koper, then I moved back to Ljubljana. Now I'm back in Koper uh, for work. And it has just been very hectic. Um, but it has always been in the back of my mind to record something for you guys. So finally today, after work and after my Chinese class, I sat down to make a video for you guys. And to make it very special, I wanted to um, teach you a poem in Slovene, since I thought that it's a very good way to get um, a feel or a rhythm for the language and um, yeah this is basically what I thought that we would do today so at first I would just recite the poem for you and then we would translate it how to say word by word or line by line and I hope that it will help you in your Slovene studies so just like with songs right it's much easier than to learn um, a language or maybe get new vocabulary I thought that we could do the same with the poem and this poem is very special at least for me since I wrote it and I sort of, uh, how to say, wrote it for my dad and it's not the happiest poem as you will see but then I, again I feel that most poems tend to just talk about more sad things <laughs> I guess, in general that is um, and yeah I guess I will just recite it for you. I really hope that you like it and yeah this is it, it really comes from the heart yeah so uh, I'm a bit worried um, about sharing it but then again maybe someone's gonna like it and maybe it will help them and so on. All right so let's just begin. Zakaj otrok moj dragi strmiš gor nebo? Po noči v luni, po dnevi v soncu. Iščeš me, odkar sem zapustil zemljo. Vidim vsakič, kako oblake opazuješ. Misliš, da jaz na njih zdaj kraljujem. V noči z zvezdami srečo tikujem. Žal mi je, da so mora oditi. Vendar telo je trudno postalo. Težko ritem življenja bi dali je držalo. Čeprav zdaj me ne vidiš, ne skrbi, otrok moj dragi. Jaz še vedno stojim ti ob strani. Zdaj najdeš me v pesmih, ki jih ptice pojo, v vonju vrtnic, ki na mojem grobu cveto. Ok. So this is the poem, oh, the title is Oče, so Oče means uh, father or dad, it's more, um, I guess, traditional. And I just have it written down to make it easier uh, to translate. Um, okay, so let's begin. The first line. Zakaj? Why? Otrok moj dragi. So otrok is a child, okay? Moj means mine, okay, so moj telefon, my phone, and dragi means dear, okay, so zakaj otrok moj dragi, why my dear child, okay, strmiš gor v nebo, so strmeti is actually to stare, okay, so uh, gledati is to look, right, to just look at something, but strmeti is really when you stare, you know, it, it can even be a bit uncomfortable at times, right, so strmiš, Gor means up, so up, um, unebo, into the sky, so u means in or into, and nebo is the sky, okay? So one more time. Zakaj, otrok moj dragi, strmiš gor nebo? Why, my dear child, are you staring up at the sky or into the sky? Ponoči v luni, so ponoči means at night and uluni here it's more um so how to say poetical freedom so 
Uluni in the moon. We we don't really uh, speak like this, right? But Ponochi Uluni. So at night in the moon. Okay. Luna is the moon. Podnevi u soncu. So podnevi u soncu in um, the daytime. Okay. U soncu means in the sun. Okay. Sonce is the sun. And then ponochi at night. Podnevi in the daytime. Okay. Okay. So ponochi u luni. Podnevi u soncu. Iščeš me. Iskati means to search for. So iščeš me. You are searching for me. Okay. So iščeš me. Otkar. Otkar means uh, since. Okay. So yeah. Oh, okay. Let's put it like this. So otkar sem zapustil zemlju. So since I left the earth. Okay. Uh, zemlja is the earth. And zapustiti is um, to leave or to sort of let go, yeah? So to leave someone or something, okay? So let's go through these two lines again. Ponoči u luni, podnevi u soncu, iščeš me, odkar sem zapustil zemljo. So at night in the moon, in the daytime or during the daytime in the sun, you are searching for me since I left the earth. Okay? Alright. And then the next verse. Vidim usakič kako oblake opazuješ. So, vidim, jas vidim, I see. Usakič means each time. Kako means how or in a way of doing something. Oblake, so oblaki are clouds. And opazuješ means Ti opazuješ, so you are observing. Opazovati, to observe. So the whole uh, line. Vidim usakič, kako oblake opazuješ. So I see each time how you are observing the clouds. And then the next line. Misliš, da jaz na njih staj kraljujem. Misliš, you think, da jaz, that I, na njih, so na means on, and nih means them, okay? So, na nih as in on the clouds, okay? So, nih here is um, regarding the clouds or talking about the clouds. Na nih, zdaj, means now. Kraljujem is from the word uh, kraljovati, no, kraljevati. Yeah, there we go. Kraljevati means to, uh, so, kral is a king and it's sort of, um, how to say, not really so much um, like ruling, you know, how kings would rule, uh, but it's sort of between those lands, yeah? So you have a kingdom, let's say, right? And you are the king of that kingdom. So, Kraljevati. Um, this is sort of how we would say it. It's very hard to translate. But I hope you, you get the idea what it means. Okay? So, one more time. Vidi Musakic kako oblake opazuješ. Misliš da jas Na nich zdaj kraljujem. I see each time how you are observing the clouds. You think that I am on them ruling now. Okay? So that this is my kingdom now in the clouds. Alright. And then the last line. U noči zvezda mi srečo tikujem. So u noči means in the night or at night, sort of. Better to say in the night. Again, here is more so uh, this poetical freedom. So, u noči za zvezdami with the stars. So, zvezde are stars. Za zvezdami srečo tikujem. So, sreča is luck. And uh, kovati, so ti here is, I'm doing something for you. Okay, so tebi. Um, kovati is, oh, I don't know the English word. It's like, um, I will need to... Uh, check. Okay, so what, what, should, we, should I use pons? Pons. Okay, let's see. I have no clue what is uh, kovati in English. Uh, I'm so sorry. Kovati. Kovati. Let's see. To forge. To forge iron. Okay. So you know when you have iron, right? And then you you can make like products out of it, right? Made from iron, obviously. 
um, so to forge, I don't know if <laughs> this is correct, I never use this word in English, um, but yeah, this is what it would mean. So now one more time, the whole uh, verse. Vidi musakic kako oblake opazuješ. Misliš, da jaz na njih staj kraljujem. V noči zvezdami srečo pikujem. Ok? So let's just translate the whole verse uh, together now. So I see each time how you are observing the clouds. You think that on them I'm ruling now, so the, the clouds are my kingdom. And in the night, I am, again, I forgot the word, um, forging, I don't know, uh, the luck for you, okay? So, yeah, this, this is it. Uh, so, kovati would be from jas kujem. It's, it's a very strange word, okay, um, for, to translate. Um, all right, and then the next line. Žao mi je da se mora oditi. Žao mi je, it means I'm sorry, um, or sort of also to apologize. So, žao mi je, uh, biti žal, to be sorry, da se moral oditi. Da, that, se moral, so morati is have to do something, and se moral is just past tense. So, žao mi je, da se moral, I'm sorry that I had to, oditi means to live. So, Žal mi je, da se mora oditi. I'm sorry that I have to leave. Okay? Vendar telo. Vendar is like ampak, so just another word for ampak. So, vendar telo, so telo is body, okay? Vendar telo je trudno postalo. So, postati means to become, so before it was in one condition, now it's in a different condition, right? So, vendar telo je trudno postalo. So, trudno um, can mean like uh, tired. Um, another word would be utrujeno. This is what we use more so on a daily basis. But trudno uh, just sounds more poetic or I guess more traditional. Okay? So, the whole line. Vendar telo je trudno postalo. But the body became tired. Okay? And then the next line. Težko ritem življenja bi dalje držalo. Težko means hard, or it can even mean heavy, so if something is heavy, you can say to je težko, so this is heavy. But here, težko means uh, hard, okay? Um, težko ritem življenja, so ritem means rhythm, and življenje means life, okay? And then bi dalje držalo, so držati actually means to hold, yeah? So dr now, držim telefon. Okay, so držati means to hold. Um, and also in this sense it, it would mean težko ritem življenja bi dalje držalo. So it would be hard for the body to keep the rhythm of life going, right? So you have to keep the rhythm, right? Um, if you're playing the drums or something, right? Or just anything, I guess. Uh, when you keep the rhythm, this is um, držati ritem. Okay, so držati to hold, but in this sense it's to keep, okay, so keep the rhythm going, um, going on. Okay, um, so again let's translate uh, this whole verse uh, together. So, žal mi je, da se mora oditi, vendar telo je trudno postalo, težko ritem življenja bi dalje držalo. So, I'm sorry that I had to leave but the body became tired. Um, it would be hard for it to keep the rhythm of life uh, going. Okay, so here, just let me mention this. So, B word here is would. Okay, so I think I forgot to say that before. So, težko ritem življenja bi dalje držalo. So, it would be hard for the body, so it would be hard for the body to keep the rhythm of life going. And then second to last verse. Če prav zdaj me ne vidiš, ne skrbi, otrok moj dragi. Jaz še vedno stojim ti ob strani. So, če prav means even though. Okay? So, če prav 
Zdaj me ne vidiš. Zdaj we had before, right? So it means now. Me, so me. Um, or someone else, right? So whoever is speaking, so me. Ne vidiš. So you don't see. So videti means to see. Okay, so one more time. Čeprav, zdaj me ne vidiš, even though now you do not see me. And then the next line. Ne skrbi. Do not worry. Okay? Ne skrbi. Don't worry. Ne skrbi. Otrok, moj dragi. So this is the line we had at the beginning. So, my dear child. So, don't worry, my dear child. Uh, čeprav, zdaj me ne vidiš. Ne skrbi. Otrok, moj dragi. Jaz, mi, še vedno, still. Vedno means always, but še vedno means still. Uh, I can say, še vedno sem tu. I'm still here. Okay, so tu means here. So, še vedno sem tu. I'm still here. Okay? Um, so, jaz, še vedno, stojim. So, uh, stati means to stand. So, jaz stojim. I'm standing. Ti obstrani. So, ti means again to you. So, um, obstrani means uh, like by your side. Okay? So, or next to. Okay? So, let's just put it together. I hope it will make more sense, this last part. Jaz še vedno stojim ti ob strani. It means I'm still standing by your side. So this would be I'm still there for you. Okay, so if I tell someone um, stojim ti ob strani, I can literally be like, okay, next to them, right? But it means that you are there for someone. Okay, so stati ob strani means um, sort of uh, to help someone, you know, that they can count on you and so on. Okay, so that you have their back. Okay. So again, let's go through the whole verse one more time and then translate it uh, to get the, the full idea or the full translation. Okay, let's go. Čeprav zdaj me ne vidiš, ne skrbi, otrok moj dragi. Jaz še vedno stojim ti ob strani. Even though now you do not see me, do not worry, my dear child. I'm still standing by your side. Okay, and the last verse. Zdaj najdeš me v pesmih, ki jih ptice pojo, v vonju vrtnic, ki na mojem grobu cvetu. So, this means, zdaj najdeš me, now you find me, or now you can find me. Zdaj means now, najti means to find, me is me, right? Zdaj najdeš me, now you can find me. V pesmih, so in the songs or in songs, pesmi are songs. V pesmih, in the songs, ok? So, zdaj najdeš me v pesmih, now you can find me in the songs, ki jih, ki means which, and jih means the songs, ok? So now we're just talking about the songs, so we don't repeat the same word, ok? So, zdaj najdeš me v pesmih, ki jih ptice pojo, so, ptice are birds, and pojo means um, to sing, okay? So, now you can find me in the songs which the birds sing, okay? So, peti means to sing, uh, pojo, um, oni pojo, so they are singing, or one pojo, if it's females, <laughs> okay? So, um, and then the, the last line, uvonju vrtnic, uvonju, von is a uh, smell, okay? So, um, you can say, ta von mi je všeč. I like this smell. Okay? So, u vonju, in the smell. U vonju vrtnic. Vrtnica is a rose. Vrtnice are many roses, so plural. So, u vonju vrtnic, in the smell of roses. Ki, which, na mojem, on mine, mine. <laughs> um, grobu. Uh, grob is um, uh, the tombstone, or you know, at the graveyard, right? Where it's just one. Um, I, I think it's better. I just check uh, if there's a better word. Um, grave, oh, okay. Uh, grave would be a better word, but even tomb. I, I can't pronounce. 
um, so ki na mojem grobu, so which on my grave, cveto, it means um, that they are blooming. So rože cvetijo, cveteti is to bloom, rože cvetijo means the flowers are blooming, uh, and um, oni or one in this case vrtnice, so the roses um, are blooming, vrtnice cveto. Okay, so one more time the last part. Zdaj najdeš me v pesmih, ki jih ptice pojo. Now you can find me in the songs which the birds sing. O vonju vrtnic, ki na mojem grobu cveto. In the smell of roses, which are blooming on my grave. Okay, so this is the whole poem and hopefully you learned something new and um, I hope it's okay if we go through it one more time together and hopefully this time you will recognize many words and maybe you even know some lines and you can uh, recite them with me. All right, so let's begin. Zakaj otrok moj dragi strmiškor ne bo? Po noči v luni, po dnevi v soncu, iščeš me, odkar sem zapustil zemljo. Vidim vsakič, kako oblake opazuješ. Misliš, da jaz na njih staj kraljujem. V noči zvezdami srečo tikujem. Žal mi je, da se mora oditi. Vendar telo je trudno postalo. Težko ritem življenja bi dalje držalo. Čeprav zdaj me ne vidiš, ne skrbi, otrok moj dragi. Jaz še vedno stojim ti ob strani. Zdaj najdeš me v pesmih, ki jih ptice pojo, v vonju vrtnic, ki na mojem grobu cveto. Um, so this is it. Uh, this is the video for today. Again, I'm very sorry for not recording a video for a very long time, but I see comments from you guys and uh, you're, all, you're all very sweet. So I really figured that it's high time that I make a new video and I thought I would make a more, I guess, personal one, right? Uh, since it's a poem uh, that's very close to my heart and uh, yeah, like I wrote it. So <laughs> it's even that now I'm, uh, how to say, um, afraid of any uh, critique, but of course it's always welcome. And I guess that's it. And I hope I make a new video sooner than in one year, but I really cannot promise anything. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Ciao, ciao!